For you, I took all the trouble of sending the eyes. I am extremely grateful to you, Swami, for what you did. whether my mother would ever come and see Swami or not. So suddenly one fine morning I got a telegram from my younger brother saying that he was coming here. My younger brother was not a great devotee or anything. He was okay. His wife was somewhat a devotee and he was blessed with a son. Swami was joking with my wife always saying that I would bless you with one son one day and I will name him. I said I have two daughters. And after two daughters' uh, operation, everything got over. I was not going. I am not going to have any more children. And he always says, "You'll have one more son, and he'll be named by me." And then we were wondering how it was going to happen. And this fellow was having a son, his wife and son came. That time, Swami was taking us for Gram Seva to villages outside. He was also going with us, and he took me to Amagonda Palam. And we were doing Gram Seva in Amagonda Palam. Amagonda Palam is a place where car would not go, but his car was going. He has got special liking for Amagonda Palam. I don't know why. I, I never understood. It is an interior village with Kachida roads and all that, but he went there. He asked us to go and do Gram Seva every day. We were going by a bus. I was in the forefront for always Gram Seva and all that. So I rushed one day. Every day Swami was sending doctors also with us. In case something happens there to these fellows to give bandage, treatment, first aid and all that, he was sending a team of doctors. One day he came out on that day morning and said, today doctors are not going. So no doctors went with us. We all went. We all went there. As soon as we go there, immediately I should jump into action. That was my idea. So I, I jumped out and there were some khadas on the road, some ditches. We wanted to fill all the ditches with some stones from the collected by from the hillock. Then put some mud and all that, stamp it and make it strong. So we collected some stones, put it. I went up to a hillock. I lifted a big stone. I wanted to bring it and put it there. Then from beneath the stone, something fell on my foot and I was bitten by a scorpion. I saw. I was bitten and it was running. I was shocked. I said, hey, I was bitten by a scorpion here. The students all came, they killed it. But it started. As soon as you were bitten, the poison goes on going up. I was wondering what was happening. So they came, they tied with a kerchief and all that and uh, villagers came, they burned some cloth with kerosene and all that, they started putting that smoke. This was all going on. I believe that was the time, exactly it was 9.15 and Swami was in Bhajan Hall. He jumped out of his throne and came out into the veranda looking for somebody and VK Narasimhan was sitting there. He looked at Narasimhan and said, Narasimhan, come here. Narasimhan was shocked. Right? The way Swami shouted, he rushed. Send doctors immediately to Amagonda Palam. They are required there. Immediate. And he went back into the bhajan hall and sat there as if nothing happened. He was listening to bhajans. And we can assume was lost completely. Where do I run for doctors and send them to Amagonda Palam? Who will listen to me? But anyhow, he was ordered. So he rushed and called the doctors and said, Swami wants some doctors to rush immediately to Amagonda Palam. So two doctors with uh, immediate medicine, whatever medicine generally used, they rushed in a Fiat car to Amagonda Palam. They found me sitting on the hillock, suffering from this uh, scorpion uh, bite pain. And then they came to me and said, what happened? I was bitten by a scorpion. He said, I think that is the reason why Bhagavan Baba asked us to go to Hamagonda Palam immediately. You fellow, you brought us here. So they gave me injections. I got the pain of injections much more than actually the scorpion bite pain. <laughs> I said, what is this more painful? I said, don't worry, they said. I was, they said, take rest. Don't move. So I was taking rest till almost 12 o'clock. It was only two and a half hours. I was really feeling guilty. I went there to do service. I was not doing anything, simply sitting there. I said, nothing doing. I'm going to do it. So I got up by that time, pain, pain subsided. I started doing the work. Evening we came back. We were sitting in the mandir. And Swami was distributing mangoes in baskets. So baskets were brought by students and he was going on giving. He came up to me. He gave me a very, very big mango. Bitten by a uh, scorpion. You made me run. 
I had to rush out of the bhajan hall and I had to send the doctors. For you, I took all the trouble of sending the doctors. I am extremely grateful to you, Swami, for what you did. And everybody started talking. Gangadhar Shastri was beaten by Scott. Swami sent doctors there for his relief. So, Swami gave me a very big mango because you were beaten by your dog. But then, Gangadhar, do you know one thing? You still suffered from pain after the injection also. You know why? He said, Swami, I don't know, Swami. Two reasons for that. He started explaining why I was having pain in Amagonda Palam. One reason is, Brahmins cannot withstand pain. So you are a Brahmin, so a little pain also bothers you much. <laughs> I laughed at Swami, Swami. Hey, it is truth, you ask anybody. One Brahmin, if he is bitten by an ant, you know, that fellow <laughs> cries like hell. <laughs> this is with the nature of Brahmins. Second reason is, they ask you to relax. But after 12 o'clock, you started working, is it not? Yes, Swami, I was working. You are not supposed to work when you were bitten by a scorpion. Because you know why? Whenever you work, whenever you are moving, the blood flows faster in your veins and the poison is carried faster all over the body. So the pain increases. You should have simply shut your mouth and sat under a tree. You did not do that, so the pain increased. I said, my God, Swami, how do I know all this? You don't know, that's why I am here to tell you all this. Then I said, your mother came? Yes, Swami. Your brother came? Yes, Swami. Tomorrow morning interview. Bring all of them. Thank you, Swami, I said. And everybody thought, Scorpion bite granted me interview. <laughs> that's what they thought. But next day, Swami called my mother, everybody. And that was the only interview granted to my mother. And he looked at my mother and asked, uh, you do pujas every day, is it not? Yes, Swami, I was doing. Uh, which God do you worship? Then she said, Swami, Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara, Ishwara, that, this, etc. Ah, enough, 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 he said. Okay, you need not do all that now. Take this, he said. He materialized a salagram and gave it and said, You know, this is what? Swami, Sankara Narayana Linga. Sankara and Narayana, both aspects are there in this salagram. You take this, put water, sairam, 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 drink it. You will have good health. He gave that. And then he looked at my wife and said, I told you, I will grant you a son. See, the son is here. His brother's son is as good as your son, is it not? Yes, Swami. I told you that fellow is going to come to be named by me. This fellow, where from he came? Why should he come here otherwise? Why should she come here otherwise? This fellow is destined to be named by me. Amabu Pichinda Pai Kipam Chu Dham 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 Go there, Kabhi Aya Gopal, which you and me cannot do.